In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to cut MDF with a handsaw. The first thing you want to do is get your piece of MDF and mark it up. Now you want to check it square, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can put a big square on there, just check your corner square. Only if that corner square can you start to mark off it, because we need this line and this line to be at 90 degrees to each other. So we're going to cut 100mm off this, mark 100mm on there. We know our corner is square, so we can mark 100mm on here. Then all we need to do is connect those two lines with a straight edge. You can use a spirit level if you want. Connect those two lines. You can do that, draw a line like that. Connect your two lines together. Sometimes your handsaw will actually have a built-in square here. So we can just check ourselves. It's always good to double check in joinery as you're going along. Offer your handsaw up. If we're working off this edge as a square edge, put our handsaw on that edge, line that up with our line. As you can see, that line is fairly square. So, when you're cutting through MDF, you don't want to spelch the material. So it's very important to try and keep the saw at a shallow angle as you're sawing through. If you end up sawing down like this, you tend to spelch the material at the other side. So start your cut slowly, use your thumb to guide the saw. Start at a shallow angle. You always want to cut to the waist side of your line. So if you're keeping that piece, this is the waist side of the line. You can mark that on with a pencil. So you always want to keep your saw just to the side of the line so that this is exactly 100 mil. So. And slowly finish it off at the end, like that. If you start your cut like this, and you start going like this, with your saw at a steep angle, it makes it a lot harder to cut through your MDF. 